Uh, let's go and spread out along here, try to get a better angle. Have a way to go across the top, make you come down here for me, mate. And yeah, we just got the uh, just got the centerpiece around it, so nice. This will be over pretty quickly. So we can get back to work. Welcome back, you beautiful people, to what I believe should be episode 15 of Doom World. Last episode, it wasn't the greatest episode for us. There's a bit of misjudgment on my part, and we also had a bunch of bugs that were going off. So if you look to the right-hand side of the screen, we have what looks like a whole bunch of raids coming in, but they aren't actual raids. They were for a different whale tile we're on, but then they just kept spawning and saying that they're coming in which caught us off guard because when the raid actually came in we didn't see it they managed to set up their mortars and shell the base a little bit didn't cause too much damage we just lost a few walls here and there uh, thankfully nothing important and all the prisoners are still where they should be but then the raid came in from the blackwater risks and luckily we did not lose anyone they had one of their little rocket launchers firing in which is over here uh, the disintegrator and that thing causes a crazy amount of damage so we do need to be careful of them they blasted through one line of the kill zone and then basically into the second so that's something that we're going to need to look at we need stronger walls as for the guys they went off to a pristine ruins down here so that's vincent flo and squint and cornetto and we got a whole bunch of gold like a crazy 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 amount of gold and thankfully almost every single trader buys gold which means that we should be able to trade with a bunch of different people. Funnily enough that you trade with traders. But it's when one of the trade ships comes around. It means we're not going to have to be hauling it around the map. We can leave it with us and just take other stuff off to trade. But we do need those guys back into the fight as soon as we can. Because, well, we got a, a lot of work to do. We are playing with Igor. So he does attack every three days and sometimes every two days, which can be a little bit inconvenient. It causes us a little bit of trouble here and there. And we also want to finish stripping down this mechanoid ship along here. And then once all of these parts are taken, we'll go and blow it up to get the rest of the parts. Because otherwise we'll just lose them from the explosions. It would be a bit of a shame because we want those parts. Squint's caravan has met peacefully with a caravan from Hibidus. The other caravan is composed of, yep, yeah, a bunch of people, not a problem, let's trade. They haven't got many things that we want, but they do have a, a trait releaser. Well, a tech blueprint for the trait releaser and the extract ability tech print as well, which we can use to move a couple abilities about, which would be real, real helpful. And with that, we'll sell off 900 gold. That'll lighten us up. And then we've also got a few more things that we want and we'll just continue on our way. Okay, that was just right outside the base. So the other guys are back now, which is really good. We also have some Frumbos on the map, which I think will get Ape, Wombat and Purple to go and hunt down. They should be able to deal with them fairly quickly. We just got to be careful that no stray shots hit the Galatrosses because we would be not in a crazy amount of trouble, but Galatrosses are somewhat dangerous. If we were at range, we'd probably be able to take some, but right now that is not going to be worth it. So... Let's take the front bow out. We don't want it to be on drafted hunt, just in case we hit a Galatross and then the Galatross comes running in against us. That would suck if it manhunted. They are pretty thick boys, you see. But front bow first sells for 14 a pop, which is a nice amount. So it sells more than gold, which is odd. The guns have done fairly worth more than gold, but details. If that's what people want to pay you, that's what you can charge. Or whatever the saying would be at that point. Cool. Front bows are done. That gives us the horns, the furs, a bunch of meats. All stuff that's going to be semi-useful. And then we're going to need to start breaking a bunch of stuff down here. We're also going to need to start looking at getting some body parts. Like Nynx is missing a lot. Jupiter's missing an arm. Blue's missing a toe, which isn't actually too bad. Missing another toe. So... We want legs and arms, basically, and then we are good to go. Just got a retail trader from the security force approaching, and they normally have some fairly high-tech kit, which would be quite good because we've got a lot of things that we want to sell, and hopefully they'll have some of the things that we are looking to buy. We're going to get rid of the tables, and then we're going to replace them with golden tables, because people like gold tables. We'll send Vincent to go trade with the security forces. We'll get rid of all of our levers. We don't really need those. All of the narcotics. 
mortar rounds. We'll get the slave ship. We'll get slow learner and feeble trait releases. And we'll get rid of all of the scrap guns. Pick up a shield belt. Their shield belts you can shoot through, so they are super handy. And we'll get rid of all of our chem fuel. And that is about everything that we need or want to get rid of. So we're going to send Ape over. And what we're going to do is we're going to take away his trait of annoying voice. This will make people like him more or stop people disliking him. So all we do is we remove trait and then we just click on annoying voice. And then his annoying voice is gone. That's quite handy. We'll get rid of the depressive on Ronnie. Chemical interest we'll get rid of on Tolga because that is one of my least favorite of all the traits you can get. And it turns out Squint is a nudist and Ravenous, so we'll get rid of those as well. So we just got rid of Nudist and now we're getting rid of Rowdy. And let's get rid of Ravenous as well. And Ravenous. Cool. So, Squint should be a little bit better off. Let's likely have mental breaks because he's got Warrior's Nudist. Him wearing clothes makes him unhappy. And then the other two lower his mental break threshold, so more likely to snap, which is not something that we are really after at the moment. But I can't really say too much is happening at the base. There's just so much going on that our guys just aren't able to get the work done, unfortunately. Mm. Luciferium has been researched. So we can now put in a Mechanite Forge. This is going to chew through all of our food super quick, but we're going to be able to build, uh, well, make our own Nutriamine. And then with that, we can turn that into Luciferium. With that Luciferium, why is that in the doorway? All that urgently. Um, can you do it? Cool. Prioritize hauling. And then hopefully with that, we can then go and bring these three guys back to life. Because we just need the Lucy to make the old uh, Mechanoid Resurrector Serum. So with those, that will be spot on. We're now installing the two golden tables. And we also have the Mecha Hive is going to come in and attack us as well. So long as there's not a bunch of Inquisitors, we can normally deal with the Mechanoids pretty simple. And then we also just get a whole nice amount of plasteel and components off them. So generally worth fighting. But let's see how we are looking on the old weapon front. Okay, Patrick's missing the weapon. Jupiter's missing weapons. Okay, it's just Patrick and Jupiter that are missing the weapons at the moment. So that isn't too bad. But like I said, we just need to get more arms and more legs. And then everyone should be pretty much back into the fight nice and soon. I think we're going to need to go and research the reinforced walls so we can put them into here. Those reinforced walls are going to put up a, a lot more of a fight than these because at the moment they are just being shot through and the mecha hive is here. What are they bringing in? It looks like a small raid. Oh, pretty vanilla raid. Just a whole bunch of centipedes. But. Compared to what we've been fighting, centipedes just are not that scary anymore. So we've been fighting things with nearly double the armor value of a centipede with far more dangerous weapons. So we'll get everyone to their defensive positions. I'm not even sure we need everyone to do it. Well, we actually, we just straight up don't need that many people in it. Okay, so we'll just pull you five across to here. And then you guys can just basically run through the kill zone. Not that I think fighting centipedes out in the open is a great idea, but centipedes don't do very well with two things that are spread out. Okay. So it looks like it's a slight bug with the pocket sand, because Minx can use a weapon, even though he's got no arms to use it, but you just have to click on it. Which to me is kind of funny. Uh, let's go and spread out along here, try to get a better angle. Have a way to go across the top, make sure come down here for me, mate. And yeah, we just got the uh, just got the centerpiece around it, so it's nice. Just be able to pretty quickly. We can get back to work. Cool, done. Thank you very much. 
four times speed, get everything done. And got a transport pod crash for winning that fight. And we get Lutz coming in. And what have you got? Transhumanist, which is nice. Undergrounder, we can live with, kind and efficient, and good with plants. It's not incapable of fighting, but just has no shooting or melee. But has decent medical. Yep, we'll go kidnap her. And that's going to make a nice addition to the team. And I think what we'll do is we'll send Flo off. Because she's got the void suit so she moves super quick. Real jelly addiction. We, I think we can solve that. Because if you don't solve it she turns into like a bug creature. Which would kind of be funny but not really what we want. I think she's going to be better as a person than as a megapede. Or a mega spider, I guess is what it is. Okay, we'll send Flo, she's super quick. And we are just going to give her as much silver as she can carry, which is 9,000. Which means that she should be able to get two arms and two legs. Or four of each, depending which combination we go for. And that is going to be very useful at getting the colony moving again. Do you need to chuck in some more lights? Because things are just getting a little bit too dark. And we don't want people getting mood debuffs from that. Lost has gotten sick from an infection. The infection is in her torso. Which is a little bit annoying because we can't do too much with that. Normally you just amputate. Well, not normally, but you know, when it gets bad, you can amputate. Just makes everything a little bit quicker and easier. I think this time around, well, yeah, that's not happening. Hopefully, we can just stay above it. So the infection is minor. Immunity is 19%. The infection is at 23%. Yeah, we are going to have to do something about that. Going to have a think about that for a second and then come back to it. We have just arrived at the UAC. And let's see what they have for us. They do have the health dispensers, which they have a lot of health dispensers. <laughs> That's actually mental, which we can use to regain arms, but they're 3,000 a pop on those. So that is not cheap. Whereas a bionic leg is 1,300. And how efficient are you? So it's 125%, so it's better than a normal arm and a normal leg. Okay, so we're gonna get five legs and two arms, and that hopefully will keep our guys moving around. If we need more, we can always send them over. As for Lutz, what would work fairly easily is we use uh, the Neurotonin. That will heal her up if it gets too bad. So yeah, we are chasing that infection and we are losing. Fun. And we can't amputate because it's on the torso. I don't really want to lose her, but then I definitely don't want to be wasting some serious medicine on just a stranger that we haven't even captured yet. Well, the captured, but we haven't recruited. Okay, recall will raid you within the upcoming 12 hours. Fair enough. I think that's tribals. Troubles are pretty easy to deal with, and a blight came in behind the infection and I didn't see it. Fantastic. We'll just take this area, allow sewing, turn off, and then we'll just cut all these. Well, actually, that's a bit too much. Stop that. Put the power conduit back on because I cancelled that for some reason. Sweet. And we'll see how that one goes. Okay, flows back. And let's hope we can get some people to actually start. <laughs> so they came in and just didn't go for any of the crops that were that needed doing. Okay, we do have mechanoid power though. Which is really good. That's basically free unlimited power. And all we need to do is put that down. So it's 300 steel, 200 plastic, and one mechanoid power cell. Okay, so Recall has managed to come in and attack us in the time that we're able to chop down like six hill root leaves or hill root plants, which is a little bit annoying. We're just so behind on work at the moment. And what are they? Pirates, it looks like. 
Nothing too scary. A lot of close combat, some explosives, and very low penetration weapons. Ah, that'll be fine. We can just run out and shoot them in the face if we need to. So we're getting closer with the infection on LUTs. It's 80% infection to 80% immunity. We will need to keep an eye on that because if we can just get 1% ahead, then we will be okay so long as the consciousness doesn't drop too much. We've got a couple of guys running around the outside of the base which are just aggroing the pirates a little bit. And ideally we want to be fighting the pirates in the kill zone. Not that we can take them because we definitely could. But more because we just don't want anyone getting some random scars that they don't need right now. Send you guys that way so you don't get caught out in the open. Move in. And these guys will probably come... Yeah, no, they're going to go around the outside, that's cool. And that is now decided to come in. Alright, fair enough. Probably going to have to go out, yeah. What we wanted to avoid happening just happened because Cornetto decided to go that way. Fantastic. Pull Cornetto down. Everyone else can run out. Great firing line. Try not get caught in close combat because that's the advantage they will have over us. Another fire line up there. Squint can come take the top. Patrick can move across here. Where is Cornetto? Cornetto still up. And they got a few people still standing. And we got a prison break. Awesome. Cool. No one's... Yeah, no one's drafted anymore. Let's have a little look. Rascal, what you got? Chemical fascination composed of misandrous and muscular. Good of animals. Artistic. Social. Intellectual. Not bad. Actually, that's... Pretty decent. But we aren't doing artistic stuff and we aren't doing animals. Social, we have people that are better with more implants. So, yeah, you would be very good for that. Jen, what you got? Heat tolerant, fast learner, tough iron world, optimist, fast walker. Yeah, again, good with animals. Artistic, medical, social. On paper, very, very good, but not, but doesn't have any of the skills that we want. Evan, what you got? Social. Is it just me, or is in this playthrough we're just getting loads of people that can do social? I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if that's something that they like kind of slip in, you know, just make it more likely that you have people that are good at social. And Lux, you've just killed yourself, mate. Yeah. So Lutz kind of won't survive that just because she's running so close on the infection to the immunity. Yeah, just got her head blown off. Cool. Shame. You could have done quite well for yourself there. Okay, you go and heal up because we need you rested. Jupiter's going in and healing. Anyone being difficult and not wanting to be healed. Tolga, whereabouts are you? Yeah, you're researching. Go back into bed. Rest. Nynx is doing what Nynx does. Rest until healed. Let's get blue in. Okay, we've just gone round and everyone that needs a new prospect part has got them. So they should all be getting installed now. Hopefully we don't have any too many, too many major like catastrophic fails. Because this is Iron Man so we got no choice but to uh, take the outcome that we get. Whereas normally when it messes up, you just go back a little bit and then nobody notices. Can't do it this time, so we'll see what we get. Also if anyone messes up, then we lose, obviously, the body part as well. So that is not great. So Nynx, how are you looking, mate? So bionic arm, bionic leg, going in for the other arm. Cool. Wombat is getting a bionic leg. Blue has already got her bionic leg. Then Tolga had both of them shot off before she even joined. Then who's this? Jupiter is getting a leg and an arm. Patrick, I guess we'll give an arm to in a sec if we have enough. 
I think it's we mainly brought yeah we brought legs cool so all the arms are used we just have one leg left so see if anyone's missing any toes all of the legs are now healed so we don't need to worry about those but we do have a couple people that will be after bionic arms so I think we'll go send Flo back out and see what else she can pick up. Everyone has bionic legs that need them. So what we're going to do is we're going to send Flo out. And Flo's going to pick up a couple more bionic arms. Because that is the main thing that we're after at the moment. So we'll give her 2,000 on the gold. That should be enough for everything that we need. And then we'll send her on our way. And nobody has touched any of the plants yet. What's the point of having farmers if they're not going to farm? Right, okay. So it hasn't even been a day. And as you can see, like the fire's still burning from the battle. Got all the corpses. We've even got like the mechanoids there. And now Void is going to be attacking us within the 12 hours. And it looks like it's going to be a drop pod. Because it says he wants to turn around our defences. Which just means he's going to be dropping straight on top of us and causing an absolute havoc. And our farmers don't want to seem to do their job of farming. So I turned everything else off so there's no more auto so hoping that they would just go in and cut the blighted crops but they're not. So super fun times and Void's coming in on top of this and I know I'm about to make mistakes so I'm going to bring the episode to the end here. I've been Conzi and I'll catch you guys on the next one.